Welcome to EVE Online, I'm Major Freak. This is going to be showing how I use my accounts, um, how I've made things sane. This is my first character. I wanted Major Freak, but I think I'd taken it a while ago or somebody else had during beta or no, sorry, uh, during release, uh, like early, early release. Um, you know, a trial account, uh, which had lapsed. I'd either forgotten the email or somebody else had the account and client and character name. And it took oh, many years before they purged those old trial accounts and I was able to get Major Freak. And I was like, I'll go, I, I'll go Minor Freak, like as in minor, minor. So I, mining rocks, and I tried that, taken. So I'm like, damn it. Um, so I was like, Screw it. I'll go Minor Freak, and then as soon as I can... Whatever, I'll just go with Minor Freak for now. But it's it's fine. Um, now, for better or worse, this was my main character, and as I gathered other characters before to scout my haulers through low sec, and he needed Omega in order to run two accounts at once on the same computer, and it was, and I didn't have another computer. Um, I th think what I had was a backup computer at one point a few years later. And what I would do, naturally enough, I'm sure it's happened to you. You have a, um, say your girlfriend or wife or a pet dog, um, doing the alpha count scout on the other computer, the PC, uh, laptop, whatever have you, uh, the other entity, um, as the ULS states, um, so when I say entity, I mean different computer. When I say player, um, I mean me, or could be anybody. The CCP doesn't know. I mean, Jesus. Um, you could have a, uh, I could be paying, uh, sweatback workers one buck an hour. <laughs> uh, and when I say client, I mean this account right here. And when I mean character or alt or main, it's one of these. So, uh, yeah, I, I, what would happen is I would have uh, a character um, as an alpha, and then I'd make them omega because it just naturally happens that way. You just it just happens. Did if you try to keep them separate, it, it it'll eventually go omega. You just don't try to stop it from happening. It'll just be just ex just expect that's going to happen. And that's what CCP, I think, uh, knows exactly what's going on. They, you know. Uh, okay, so um, this was my first, and as and as uh, the years went by, I added I think I added this lady first I had uh, another, another character and another character and what I would do is as I train those character characters because I needed them I'd pause training I'd hardly ever I think I used MCT once um, a long time ago I've used them currently because of the 50% off uh, three month thing uh, on this account actually because uh, yeah anyways because reasons um, and what I would do is I would train another account using that MCT and then once that character was trained up I would just tra character transfer them onto an alpha account um, and make that Omega and that's what happened to uh, Shrivel actually uh, and I transferred that off and I think I had Major Domo as well and I transferred her off to this account as the hauler trader account um yeah and that's it that's what happened with this character and she was the booster because uh i eventually realized i had i think i created both hereticus and senesha at the same time um and i i think i had major freak as the where is he? There he is. Uh, Major Freak as the scout. Um, and at that time when I had 
when I went Omega with Major Freak uh, and had four accounts on my main PC, which was probably pushing the limits at PC. And I'd always play minimum resolution, um, and I'd also uh, have minimal graphics um, just to run it. Uh, and I was amazed at people who played with one client and were able to have <laughs> max graphics. Jealous of that. Uh, these days I run with Seneche, uh, that client, as max graphics. Everybody else um, in memory optimization. It's this one right here. Uh, memory. It's for... Uh, yeah. Multiple clients, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, and I... I made all these sound... Uh, exactly the same for everybody, except my hauler. Uh, I have that a bit differently. It took me a while to understand. I've got videos about this, but uh, let's try to get away from the audio. That's a migraine in itself. So that was that was my uh, scout. I became Omega, and as soon as he went Omega, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna make some. Uh, back then, uh, it was uh, a really weird thing with the uh, uh, blueprints, blueprint originals. When you research ME and PE, but it was totally different system back then. And I realized, hey, I, I needed as many researchers as possible, um, and I made. Uh, our Cormonin from the system Cormonin. I made three of them. Uh, and I split them up between my characters. And I had that going. And these these are really gank characters, which I've never actually used, actually. They're, they're for catalyst, high set ganking kind of thing. Um, or and post siphoning that post siphoning was awesome <laughs> i miss it but yeah that that was back then that was what i was doing and the problem was um that you have all these characters and you can see where i'm going with this the ships that i wanted to fly on specialty missions were it was really frustrating because this was my oldest character and I had all the unique ships on her. And anything else, if it wasn't on this this main right here, I couldn't find it because it was just, okay, where did I leave that item? Was it on a ship? So, you know, it was just mental. So after a while, I was like, okay, so uh, right at that moment, I had the only specialization going on was... This character was my booster and my command, you know, leadership stuff. And this guy was my scout, uh, probing, all that stuff, um, and ECM too, uh, the ECM boat. And what I realized was that Hereticus and Seneche and my freak. Uh, the ones had been Omega the longest had the ability to fly all the battleships and that meant my support ship uh, ECM stuff was suck on somebody who I wanted to use as a you know a battleship pilot a DPS I'm like ah so I split off and it occurred to me when I got another character this one uh, she's yeah less Skill, about the same skill as Major Freak, actually. And she has really got nothing going for her. Um, and I wanted to make Ma Major Freak uh, the prober. So what I realized was, wait, I've got five characters, five, five clients, Omega clients now. I want to split them off into Caldera and Galente and Min Matter and MR and they can specialize on those and of course Minor Freak doing the MR had because I love MR um, yay no ammo worries uh, she had everything uh, all the ships everything it was just 
jumbled into it and I didn't I didn't really have personalities for the other for the rest of them except for Hereticus who was my prober and the other two were I just fellow miners and just I would if I gave one person a ship I would forget what they were doing you know because I'd randomly give a unique ship to somebody and then not really follow through with repetitions of that sort specialization it was just kind of chaotic so I realized okay I am going to force the training for this character to be pretty much Amar and she's got massive skills so it just I don't have to worry about that really her reticus had to work up in matter uh, I realized that there were a lot of being a combat DPS oriented person that uh, it was Amar and then there was Min Matter there was just you know both of them were just perfect for that um, there was also Galente so I was like do I want to make Hereticus Kaldari but it was like no because I want this is my I have to be you have to be pragmatic at the same time it's like Hereticus, Minor Freak, and Seneche were my longest standing, highest SP characters who were obviously going to be in the DPS category, absolutely, and eventually going to capital. So it was like, okay, that, and they do, the, um, uh, Hereticus and uh, Minor and Seneche all can fly tech to high skilled uh, dreadnoughts. So, and Karis too, so happy with that. I can't do anymore and I don't think I should do anymore just because it wouldn't be smart the other two can be uh, you know big game hunter uh, stealth ships and stuff and, and sino boats and, and, and support ships and all that stuff it's just nope just gonna keep it to three keep it sane so that meant that the Nagelfar was obviously gonna be th this Hericus would be punching that ticket for sure uh, for now I've only got like the Amar Dreadnoughts, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Slowly. You know, it takes years to do this stuff when you're doing it carefully and, and you know, and, and, and nobody gives you a book on how to do this right, you know. Um, so, that's where we're at right now. That's what my decision was. Uh, and it's working great. Um, I've given all the min matter specialty function ships uh, to Hereticus, uh, including a very cool Varger uh, that's just blinged out and costs more than a dreadnought. So <laughs> I, I haven't, I haven't flo flown it into harm's way yet. <laughs> Major Freak is doing the uh, probing. Uh, the ECM and what I realized was that although I've got most of the specialty probing ships with my major freak now and Hereticus still he, Hereticus was my original scatter so that definitely he's got the best skills right now for probing so it's either or really but of course the focus for major freak is on caldari and probing and all that stuff and ecm i realized that although my galenti pilot um and by the way i'm getting skins separated even for like my mining ships all trying to get the green color for rain and then uh blue for caldari for major freak and red hereticus and then white for uh, minor freaking I'm going with yellow uh, with uh, Seneche and black and purple for my hauler who is my final uh, because I think six is about the limit for Omega uh, seriously it's 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 the limit of it's a screensaver with a built-in check function and the only way you actually get any challenge out of this unless you're an f1 monkey and a fleet fighter an FC who can't do all this stuff if you're a minor six is about the limit uh, of the ability to have fun without it being work I've seen people with eight or ten and it's just they get really aggro <laughs> and I can see why your efficiency drops 
the efficiency efficiency begins to drop at four. So if you have four doing all the same thing, any more you're going to lose efficiency. Just be, you're human; it's just going to happen. You know, uh, this by the way is legal. Uh, I've never used Isboxer, and I consider it uh, an abomination. Um, yeah. Uh, because once in a blue moon, and I think it's still got the capabilities, and the people who like that probably try to get away, probably using like 16 laptops or something autistic like that. Um, but yeah, uh, legally speaking, the only way you can do this is with very, you, you've got to realize your limits. You've got to know when to walk away from more mega accounts. Um, I have four Omega, uh, alphas, four, four alphas. This one, I forget why I have it. Uh, it's just, I think it was testing UI creation maybe. Um, this character I had for a while, uh, she is originally a scouter, but I've put her in Jita. Uh, she is in uh, a holding alliance. And I've got one character per alpha account at Jita, and I th think I've got one character on my Megas. I don't think so. Uh, they've they're all at different uh, um, market hubs. My uh, my gankers are all at different market hubs. Um, uh, they're in one corporation, and there I've spread them out because you know. You can only have Omegas running multiple on one PC, one entity. Uh, and that's my price checking thing. Back in the day before they did that, yeah, the, the whole craziness started happening about the invasion and all that stuff. So, yeah, the Triglavians kind of, Triglavians um, kind of put a damper on prices in high sec. And it really made Jita and Perimeter, especially the the hub. And now that Naraja is gone, Amar is kind of picking up the slack. So yeah, I've got you have one. Now we're just going to split off talking about uh, alphas now. So each alpha account, I've got one in Jita, so that way I can center centralize easily all the redeeming points uh, that are going on. Mm -hmm. Damn it, give me a sec. I think it's my wife. Alright, so... Oh, damn it. All right, goofed up on that one. So this character is, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, this character, um, each of my alpha accounts has one character in my uh, structure uh, corporation, and each one of my alpha accounts has one character in the holding alliance, and each client alpha client has one character in the MPC court <laughs> and of course the MPC is deniability but at the same time it's just division of labor really um, when you want to do something with little to no when you want to have deniability or you know plausible deniability on a couple of things you want to do like say hole rolling for wormhole rolling or spying or all that stuff it's all spying more like scouting i couldn't spy worth a damn uh, so this character's skills are pretty much everybody's maxed out on their uh, five million uh, i've also got a bunch of uh unallocated skill points that i'm just saving up because who knows that uh, magic might happen and i might want to make this uh um, an Al Omega one day. H who knows? Um, but yeah, uh, regardless, Alpha Count storing up 
unallocated skill points, yada yada. Uh, they've got all the skills for that. It's basically right now just sitting around uh, because it's alpha. I don't have any structure skills. So it's a gunner, but it won't have any of the bonuses, of course, because alpha can. But still, it's nice to have a gunner, and I'm in Bashakru right now on the Micker Gate. Micker Gate. All I have to do is. If I'm playing in another game, you know, having fun, I could have my laptop uh, with the alpha count, and I can keep a, a live eye on the gate in Micker. Micer, and sorry about this it's just because I've got like more clients than I can handle and this is probably maximum graphics because I you can't <laughs> you can't play a more than one uh, more than the alpha count on a on your computer so on your entity so, yeah, I think it's high graphics and I haven't set it off. So sorry about, it's probably lagging really bad on the video. So yeah, I can keep an ear out while I'm playing another game for the uh, gate flash. Yeah, and it's keeping an eye out on the pulse on the uh, coming and goings of this area because it's kind of like a choke, choke point. So that's fun. All right, so let's get out of here. But other than that, no real skills. Up, nope. All right. Thank you. Yes, yes, I don't need that. Yeah, I'm not used to. Okay. So this is my hole roller and uh, counter bumper. Uh, actually made a ship to, I haven't used it uh, other than the theory stage, theory crafting stage of getting in the way of a bumper uh, with, uh, yeah, with the ship to see if I can counter the bump um, of a ship trying to bump my orca or something uh, off, off the asteroid field kind of thing. So this is the hole roller anti-bumper that's pretty much it um and i made her into the uh, mpc core because a whole roller you don't really want to give too much information away and a whole roller is a suicide thing and you're going to get ganked and i'd rather not have if my alliance suffer the uh suffer the loss the kill mill so that's why i have uh, my whole rollers in mpc and since it's an alpha count, I only need one whole roller because my wife can fly it on the laptop and I don't have more than two entities uh, at my IP. So it's like, you know, I don't need more than one. Uh, the others, this one is uh, a scout and a stabber. Uh, with a oversized micro warp drive that just orbits uh, a gate because if you're alpha you can't cloak right so that's how i do it so i keep uh, um, an eye on gates when i'm doing something else and of course everybody doesn't have any skills anymore because they've all hit the five million limit but i do get the uh, daily login bonus so yeah building slowly up uh an allocated skill points which i'll probably never use <laughs> Because, yeah, it's, I don't think controlling uh, more than six accounts is, uh, yeah. And let's see, uh, who else are we looking at here? Ah, uh, same kind of thing. Uh, this will, this is kind of, because I only, you know, uh, I haven't, I don't think I've trained her up for Battleship for, for the whole rolling thing. Uh, so she's, I've got two scouts, um, one for, 
one area of low sec nearby and one for another area of low sec. So I don't have to travel. I just, okay, who do I need? I'll, I'll log that person on. And, you know, my wife will log that person on and with the other entity and I can do my mining with uh, an extra pair of eyes, which is, it's great. Um, I'm sure I'll eventually be interested in cloaking this person up and I'll get the Omega. And CCP knows this is going to happen. <laughs> They're not dumb. Uh, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I'm not rich, so I can't do like more than six uh, Omega accounts. They're just crazy. Um, you think about it in the long term, I'm probably probably going to be spending that amount of money going to bars, socializing, uh, buying other games, or doing other stuff to entertain myself. Um, that costs money, so... And I don't have, I don't smoke anymore, so that was a hundred bucks a month. So yeah, that's my rationale. I'm sticking with it. So, and as you can see, somebody's always at Jita, so I can centralize the uh, the daily rewards, which can get onerous after a while, but some of it is profitable. But yeah, keeping that located at Jita, smart idea. Um, so that's that. Um, so I'll get rid of the alphas. And we'll go down to our Omegas. So yeah, um, Kaldari, also uh, ECM, and the support ships I found are great for ECM. So this character also has gone in a bit into ECM as well. Um, and I'd like to get her scouting ability up too. So both my non-DPS boats are going eventually into high probing skills. Right now I've got Hereticus. I can use him if I need to probe something if I really want to find something hard. But I would eventually want to get both Rain and Major Freak uh, just as highly skilled at probing. Um, that's the plan. Support characters, they will absolutely need Caldari. But uh, anything specialized for Gal Galenti, I'm going to be making uh, this character that. Um, and I've started to do it too, and it's nice now because each of my characters has a personality, and that's perfect. I know, hey, if I need this, I can go with that character, and you, it it becomes more RPG-like and more you breathe more life into the game because without it, it's just a mess. You can get lost, you get frustrated, and it's like, where's my ship? I don't know where my ship is. It's like where my command ships are here, uh, my Mar ships are here, my Min Matter ships are here. Uh, my hauler character with trading skills and everything and my freighter character um, who's in the holding corp um, a non-war deckable right um, is in the same client that's my hauler specialty client and so whatever um, doesn't matter what faction just the hauler yeah, hauler command boost and then the other four are you know Galenti for this one and Kaldari for the other ones and of course as I said lots of specialization for support too for both major freak and rain to go into ecm and probing for the scouting ability and ecm support which is bar none the best thing you can do with uh, uh combat related ships ag aggressive relationship but still support um not cloaky a spy uh scouts so yeah, um, that pretty much wraps it up entirely. Uh, mainly I've got Lashax and Balgorns as my go-tos. Uh, it's ironic. Um, the, the repair ships now are Rain and Major Freak. <laughs> but the uh, Hereticus, Seneche, and Minor Freak are the only ones so far with the uh the ambulance uh skin for the guardian <laughs> it's like uh <laughs> it's pretty ironic so yeah um all my characters are uh, can fly guardians um this is the only character that can fly a zarzamat uh um uh, triglavian or is it a drifter no triglavian uh um logistic ship uh yeah, because it's just this character has the best skills, of course. 
I'm currently going for uh, black op ships uh, on my clients and I'd like to get each into their own faction uh, black op ship because they're all good actually um, so yeah um, and of course the skins uh, I'm, I'm focusing on skins but it's gonna it's gonna take years to get this stuff up to snuff you know, it's, it's, that's the how Eve is so um, it, I'll just be patient and that that patience goes a long way with skins as well because CCP is hopeless when it comes to offering skins of color. I don't think it goes into their brain about why people use skins. They just think, oh, bling, and, and it's like, that is awesome. You are so greedy. Um, but yeah, I'll just start swearing and, you know, 18 plus will need to be applied to this video, but whatever. I'll, I'll avoid that. So, yeah, um, oh, currently all my, all my, uh, all my Omega, I can't, so I've got 18 characters, and each of them now has a fairly good, uh, planetary interaction. Uh, I haven't done planetary interaction in six months. I mean, like, meh. <laughs> it's passive income, but I'm like, Meh. <laughs> it takes it takes me about half an hour uh, to do. I think one character on each client, half an hour, and then times that by three, it's an hour and a half. And I do that only once every two weeks. But every two weeks, you got to do an hour and a half, and it's. It's draining. I've tried to make it as easy as possible, but yeah, that's that's one aspect of all the characters combined. The other aspect is well, there's no real other aspect actually. Um, the these uh, lab, lab, laboratory characters no longer needed, of course. Uh, I haven't got into blueprints in years. I th I don't think I have the new blueprints. BPOs. I've just got old, and I never got past. I think I've got the best I've got is a Harbinger R eight uh, BPO. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing huge in the in the battleship range or crazy expensive, but I've got all the equipment from all of it. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, in BPOs in Cormona, uh, split up between five stations. It's pretty fun. Uh, yeah, I made them different for. I think at the same time I did my no probably before uh, I split them up between uh, factions I have five stations so I'd split them up into BPOs of each faction going into different but it's the equipment is a bit wonky so it took a lot of imagination to, to decide which BPO was going where but that was fun uh, but that was years ago god maybe ten years ago all done all taken care of um, I don't do a lot of researching. Uh, I have my mains, uh, the ones I've been talking most about, uh, one on each client. I consider a main to be the one with the most skills and the one I most fly on each Omega. Uh, I don't consider any alpha account character to be a main. Um, it's just the ones I fly mostly. Uh, my secondaries, the Carmonan and stuff, I don't do a lot of actually right now I'm I'm taking advantage of some of them uh, who had the skills and the implant ability uh, to farm uh, skill points and uh, at the end of three months I'll get it was 50% off I'll get three months of plex so that's like it it makes me spending a little uh, it actually is a little bit more cost effective and less immediately uh, uh, bank account gouging as uh, a year account. So the discount you get with a year is 36, 35%, 36%. And this is a whip, like 40% uh, uh, savings um, compared to, say, buying monthly, which is, you know, premium. So, yeah, that's what they're doing right now. Uh, and, of course, I've got them up to snuff for... Um, 
uh, Upwell Gunnery. And of course, this corporation right here is my original and has all my structures on it. Uh, the, my mains are all in a, um, another corp that I created. When I, when I came back to the game about three years ago, 2018, no, two years ago, <laughs> um, two and a half years ago almost. No, wait, one and a half years? Yeah, two and a half years. Sorry, I, I can't do math. Um, and I think I've got about, since then, 2000, September 2018, I've got about almost 7,000 hours. I uh, logged on Steam. That's just Steam. Uh, because I, I got my, uh, the launcher, I went through Steam eventually. Uh, warning, you can only do that with one client. You can only have one EVE client on Steam. But you can use the launcher to launch everybody else as well. So you launch the client through Steam. And then that way, uh, when the launcher is active, um, and or the game, and or the game is active, it'll start calculating your hours. And yeah, that's so far after two and a half years, it's been uh, almost 7,000 hours. <laughs> uh, it would have been more, but I haven't played, like I said, since uh, July. So this character, uh, when I came back to the game, uh, at all my mains, when I came back to the game, I realized, wait, these, this, this upwell stuff is weird. Um, and I'd like to have them, if we get war decked, and I can, and of course the new mechanic for avoiding wars, which was more than two and a half years ago, I think when I was just about to quit the game, I quit for about two years, right about then, I think 2016 or something, they... They uh, they enabled uh, corpse to go non war deckable, which was great. So I made this made all my mains into one corp, and they are um, my miners and, and my and my pirate stronghold destroyers and and my workhorses. So if I get war decked by some silly corp who's a high sec, you know, blah blah blah, and and you know. I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to have all my guys in a corp. I can shove into my into the holding alliance, uh, and then I don't have to worry about getting war decked. And if my Upwell Corporation, the, the alliance it's in, uh, gets war decked, I'm totally free to take this the my corp and just shove it right back, like easily, just corp right back into the um, this alliance right here and I can defend it and right now I'm in this alliance right now um, mainly because I haven't played for six months and it's easy I'll just keep it in there if you know somebody war decks us I can you know partake and I don't have to do any of the red tape and I'm not playing so who the heck cares right um, if I do get back to playing I'll probably move them out into the non-combat so I can do my mining and everything and 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 have fun and not worry about the high sec stuff um and my structures haven't been hit once uh so in six months or when it, even when i started planning them like years ago uh so yeah um the uh, the whole upwell thing that they changed uh right around the trig Triglavian invasion was a huge hit on me and that the whole Eden Calm stuff and it was just uh, I got burnt out and at the end of it I just simply quit playing really um, I kept uh, subscribing my stuff so these characters basically are, are have been left in the the combat alliance the my uh, yeah so it's all good um, Nothing's really changed. I haven't, uh, this, these, these characters are in, it's pretty funny. I've got a corporation that I made a blank flag, so it's not, it doesn't show up. It's kind of cool. I like it. Uh, but they're not an alliance. They're pretty much anonymous, kind of mostly. Uh, they do have some, it's going to be impossible. At first blush, it'll be It'll be kind of deni uh, plausible deniability, but yeah, that, I am not a good spy, so I've I've never tried to be one because I'm just hopeless at, at figuring out which chat channel I'm typing 
typing into, you know, so I just, <laughs> you know, I, I just accidentally say the wrong thing in the wrong channel, and it, it'll happen, and that's, that's <laughs> I, I would be a horrible spy, <laughs> um, and yeah, the Characters Corporation is meant for high sec ganking, uh, high sec ganking of miners I don't like, I've never actually gone through with it, but it's a thought, um, The skills are pretty much for catalyst and stuff. Uh, I forget why I was doing this. Glenty Destroyer 5. Oh, yeah, right. The, uh, yeah, it's just, it's, yeah, it's, it's basically a throwaway miner uh, for uh, stealing Mungu off of uh, Russian low sec, uh, they're, they're nearby, uh, Russian low sec uh, um, upwells, uh, Athenor's for their R32s and R64s, which are the really expensive goo. But I've never gone through with it, mainly because once I got rolling and got ready for it, uh, my alliance became kind of friendly with them. So it's like conflict of interest for me, really. So, you know, I'm never going to be able to keep this completely secret about what I'm doing. So they might get a little bit ticked off with me. So I'll do that. But yeah, that's, that's the intent. Uh, catalyst flyers, uh, retriever flyers, um, basically deniability stuff. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're fun. Uh, let's bring up the, um, corporation here. Yeah, Asteroid Conservation Society. No flag, just a blank one. Um, and it's transparent, so it's pretty funny. Uh, yeah. Um, That's it. Um, yeah, same thing. Uh, all got different serum, um, uh, different family names for the um, em empire and stuff like that. All with the Fua thing on it because I love Fua const constellation um, and different zealot, um, you know, um, crusader, blah blah blah, jihadist and stuff like that for the names. Um, basically, kind of fun little name system. Um, yeah. Uh, that about wraps it up. Uh, I've had this in biomass for like months. It's pretty funny. I just can't find a reason to make a new character. Um, yeah, see, Anarchist, Corazor, stuff like that. Um, and they've got enough skills to get by. It's just right now I've... You always had a new excuse to train on your main. It's pretty funny. Yeah, I think. This is my Steam account. So I don't think you get 50% off Steam, or do you? It's too late now, of course. I should have checked. But yeah, whatever. think he's got high enough implants and stuff basic basic I don't think he's got any improved standard standard Jita no I don't I don't think yeah, basic no. And skills for Yeah, cybernetics, so it's nine days for that and I don't I think I ran out of un unallocated skill points, so I wasn't able to get him up to snuff quickly enough. Uh but it will happen for they they regularly put the fifty percent up, uh fifty percent off um uh MCT in three months, uh uh training kind of thing uh and subscription um it regularly happens every four months maybe i think uh but a warning and i'll just this will be the last thing before i log off the video a warning now it's all well and good 
but this is on sale and they've been they've had these on sale for I don't know how long I've always remembered seeing them on on sale and all it will take is for them to remove the sale price to eliminate pretty much all savings uh, it'll it'll half the savings basically it'll, from kind of almost 50% to almost 25% um, further savings and when you think about it you add 10% um, on to 15% you're only gonna get the same amount you get for a yearly subscription discount anyways so why go through the bother suck it up and do the yearly subscri subscription because we all know you're gonna be playing in a year from now just saying um, it's a good game and there's nothing equivalent out there yet so yeah do be careful um, this they could eventually remove the sale and uh, it won't be better than a year subscription and you got to remember you're the one paying the money so you'll be paying more doing this than the year subscription so you got to think about it if you're doing this once every four months or th if it comes out every three months if you do this uh, if you think you're making a savings over the yearly thing or any other deal you're wrong if they get rid of this you're right if they don't but once they get rid of this saving sale right here you're spending more money a year doing this thinking you're make no you're not uh, if they remove the savings you're better off just going with the year subscription because eventually you're going to be paying that anyways um, so if you think you're getting a deal you won't if you're getting the same as the yearly subscription without putting as much money down each time probably this is the best way to do it but remember once they get rid of the sale it's you're not going to be able to brag you're making huge saving because you're just going to be spending just as much as yearly it just won't be as huge a divot <laughs> once a year okay so yeah i thought i'd uh, warn you guys about that one but yeah that's that's where my characters are at as a group it's it's fun uh this is my freighter pilot uh non-war deckable so just as good as an npc corp now it's just awesome yeah um the last thing the eh, same thing really everything's And Seneche, this one. Uh, this is my CEO. And this, I think this this is a CEO of my uh, Ganka Corp, CEO of my Omnicorp, Corp, and CEO of... It just makes things a lot simpler. And yeah, that's, that's where I'm at. Um, I think I've just got this character, and I've got an X-rated background so let's not close this client yeah and that's it i hope you enjoyed and found that useful uh if you're thinking of uh going for more than two clients and going how the heck am i going to work this think think fact and specialty i think you're going to eventually go up to four clients you will eventually so start specializing start going okay who's my booster who's if i'm going to have a booster at all who's going to be a my, my mr player who's going to be my um, Min Matter player, who's going to be my Kaldari player, and who's going to be my Galenti player. Um, you can do it in different order based on your 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 enjoyment of each faction. I prefer Amar, so that's why I said it first. And yeah, I don't. I, I think Galente are kind of like a glass cannon kind of thing. I, I'm not really into them that much. I I don't like Kaldari as well, so they're pretty much last as well but uh, do keep in mind they're the prober and you need a scout so your your next character is obviously going to be a prober um omega uh that uh, can train up for good probing skills and it's caldari go for caldari because they've got the best probing things so i would recommend caldari as your as your next uh omega investment and stick to that and don't vary and if you start thinking of more just remember just divvy them up for factions okay so yeah uh that's it
Have a good one.